Hey, what's good with y'all, man? Y'all already know what time it is. We're gonna get straight into these new clothing pickups that I got over the past like month or so. I've been going thrifting, I've been dropping new clothes, I've been getting some winter stuff, so we're gonna hop straight into it. So I wanna start it off with a pickup that I've actually bought before in two different colorways. And now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even know why I bought the two colorways that I did before buying these, but these made a whole lot of sense. They are basically a balaclava, but like a hood balaclava, like just a hoodie. So they are a knit hood that goes really well as layering pieces in the winter. So I got a black colorway and I also got a red colorway. I don't know why this wasn't my first colorway to get. The other two ones that I got was blue and yellow. Like, I don't even know why I got those colors. They do look really good with outfits, but obviously these are gonna go way better so i got these on amazon literally for like 20 bucks each and they came the next day so these is definitely something i would recommend i'll maybe show you guys how to layer them and stuff like that on b-row but let's move on now these right here really aren't a winter piece but i do be in the house like 90 percent of the time and it was definitely a good thing to be able to have so right here i got these nami sandals and if you guys remember i did a photo shoot with them a while back so this is chris brown and my boy john's brand called the oracles and they just make these super comfortable slides like they're so squishy they're, they just like mold straight to your foot when you're wearing them they're really really crazy so these are called the nami slides obviously it kind of looks like a wave so like a tsunami wave type of thing so 3d printed slide perfect type of material and it just hits really well in the crib and outside the crib so got those i then wanted to move on into my recent collection that i dropped because i feel like i really didn't get to talk about it officially on the channel as far as details go but if you guys know i dropped a clothing collection called nocturnal so it is up on my website and the first piece that kind of inspired the entire collection was this hoodie so i had this idea to kind of put my own spin on puff print hoodies just because i feel like it's so overdone but it's so many cool ways that you can actually make puff print because i enjoy puff print i just think that it kind of got oversaturated with like tiktok brands and stuff like that so made this hoodie it says nocturnal on it kind of has like this very cool um church type of font y'all know like them crazy churches with the spikes and stuff like that so um definitely played a role in this design and i just didn't want it to be a flat print because i feel like that's pretty boring the overall construction of the hoodie is the part that most people really really enjoy just because it's a very thick quality hoodie so 610 gsm single layered it does have a fleece lining so very very cozy for this winter season you have your double layered hood which is seamless the first sample i did actually had a seam like on the edge of it but i wanted to switch it into like the seamless hood because i think it fits the overall build and construction so the overall construction is good it fits pretty oversized i know a lot of people ended up going a size down just because they wanted to fit a little bit skinnier but if you want this just as itself i usually wear my true size large and it fits kind of like heftier if that makes sense you guys will be able to see on body but yeah that's the first piece from the collection i also made a beanie that matches that exact hoodie which i think is pretty cool it goes along with a lot of like edgier rock type of outfits but other than that it's pretty much just a beanie but y'all know me the pieces that i'm most excited about is the jewelry just because i don't know jewelry design has kind of been my thing as of recent i think it's just because when i'm making jewelry i'm making it for me personally is really don't be about y'all or what y'all finna buy it really just be like dang i would love to have that in my jewelry collection if i could so the first piece that i wanted to talk about is these spike earrings which are absolutely insane um i've been trying to think about what type of heavy earring would go along with like this bat necklace which also is out now but yeah i just wanted something really really bold something that had a statement 
but also goes along with the rest of the things that I make. So came up with the spike earring, which is a fully brushed stainless steel metal that also has engraving inside. Low key, this was like my favorite part when I was making it. I was like, how do I incorporate my logo within this earring? And I was like, bruh, since it's a circle, I can just put my circle logo in the inside and then have my name kind of like arched around the other side. So definitely a crazy look. These are push in earrings. I know when they're on, they kind of almost give like a gauges type of effect. So um, they're not gauges. They are push in earrings. So anybody with a regular ear pierce can literally get this and put it on so what i also made along with the collection is the nocturnal ring and obviously this was inspired by the rest of the collection but um yeah i just haven't made a ring before wanted to make a ring and was like now's the perfect time to do so because it goes along with the collection so stainless steel ring which means you can get it wet everything that i make y'all know is gonna be high quality i hate when designers make like big bold pieces that are fire and then it'd be made out of like brass or something and i'll be like bro and then obviously the last piece from the collection is the heavy bat necklace which already released but i wanted to restock it for all of my heavy bat necklace lovers that always literally hit my dms and be like bro it's sold out so it's up on there right now for pre-order so go ahead and grab that if you can Hopefully it'll be up long enough for you to get yours if you want one. But I'm gonna go ahead and move on to a item that I got thrifting not too long ago. Um, I went back to that thrift store that I told you guys about that carries items from movie sets and stuff like that. So I was able to find this crazy heavyweight um, denim jacket by Levi's, which has a crazy gray color that I don't typically see when it comes to Levi jackets, unless I just don't look at Levi's enough, but I feel like I see them all the time and I never seen this specific color. So um, I tried it on, it's an extra large, which is far too big for me, but I think I'm gonna have it cropped at the body because I do like how everything else sits. So hopefully it comes out dope. I haven't really worn it yet until it gets cropped just cause it's too big in the body, but moving on so we got a few more thrift pieces that i ended up getting and i call this thrift pieces because it is second hand though it isn't like at an official thrift store i guess you could say but i went to wasteland picked up this rugby shirt right here which is crazy so this is a dubai rugby shirt um i don't know what, oh it's the emirates so that's the team i guess it is or sponsors or something i, I don't know to be honest, I don't really watch rugby, so I can't really speak on that, but the look of the shirt is fire, and that's why I bought it, and that's all that matters for real, for real. So, crazy design. It's a very tighter fitting shirt, which I really enjoy because I do like to wear a lot of baggy pants, and I think that when you wear small tops and baggy pants, oftentimes the proportions look pretty good. So, Definitely went ahead and grabbed this. It's in an orange and like black colorway, which goes with my wardrobe. So got that. One of the craziest finds that I found there though was this jacket by Who Decides War. And after doing some research, I found out that it is called the Furrer Wax Denim Jacket. So they actually have matching pants to go along with this, which they didn't have when I bought this jacket, but the build is crazy. Like the fit, when it has like this perfect crop right here at the body, um, the sleeves fit really well and they have a different effect when it comes to how they dropped just because it is a very stiff denim and has a wax layer on top of it. So I think that plays a major role into how the actual jacket fits, I guess you could say, but the overall look of it where the pockets are placed is like completely different and it was just an overall steal like i think this retails at like four to five hundred bucks i got it for like 170 so <sighs> had to grab it had to and then last but definitely not least i found this at the very end while skimming through the racks at wasteland and it's this crazy bomber jacket that's like really, really skinny and has shoulder pads, but we gonna go over it. I think it is by a brand called Ben Tavertini, The Unravel Project. I kind of looked through their collection. I didn't see this specific jacket on any of like the runways and stuff like that, 
But let me tell y'all, the fitting on this joint is absolutely insane. So usually I'm like a baggier bomber jacket type of person, but this one right here, I don't know if it's women's or what, but it's very, very skinny, especially like in the arms and the body. So that right there, when I put it on, just caught me off guard, but with the shoulder pads, I was like, this looks perfect. Like, this will go with any Rick piece that I got, any type of like avant-garde statement item that I have that would go along with this is just perfect, to be honest. So, went ahead and grabbed it. Um, the overall, like, material base, I would say is pretty much the same as any other bomber jacket of course you got your orange interior um you do kind of got some weird details that's probably specific to the designer like these straps that dang near remind me of like a dark shadow strap or something like that but other than that it's pretty much just a tailored bomber jacket that looks different from all the other ones but that i believe is everything that i recently picked up man i think i got some good ones in here this time so hopefully you guys enjoyed it like i said i'll leave all the links to um everything in the nocturnal collection that way you guys can kind of look around see if there's anything that's in your vibe i'm sure there will be because y'all gang for real so y'all minds is kind of like mine but other than that um everything else was kind of like thrifted right other than like the amazon stuff but that's pretty much all i got man make sure you guys smash the like button comment down below your favorite piece and i'm out peace